I wanted a universal remote control that could help me replace a bunch of proprietary remotes, automate some repetitive tasks, and control all my stuff, even if that stuff was in another room. I chose the Harmony Elite by Logitech. Can this universal remote control truly replace all the other remotes in your home? Let's find out as we try to simply answer the question, is it good? Now, before we get into it, I want to say that this is not a sponsored review. I purchased this device with my own money and I do not have any relationship with the manufacturer at this time. Okay, so in order for a universal remote to be good, it needs to tick three boxes. It needs to be flexible. Can I customize it to work the way I want it to work? It needs to be powerful. Can it control all my stuff? And it needs to be easy, working every time without jumping through hoops or using buggy unreliable software that's going to raise my blood pressure. With that in mind, let's start by answering the question, is it flexible? The Harmony Elite is a remote controlled system, not just a handheld remote. It includes the remote and a hub. The remote itself has a rechargeable battery and a charging station, so you don't need to keep buying double A's. It has backlit buttons that light up when you pick it up or shake it, and they turn off after a few seconds. It has all the buttons that you would expect, like volume up and down, channel up and down, directional pad, etc., which is good because you can learn to use it without looking at it. It also has a color screen that's controlled by two touch-sensitive buttons. We'll talk about the screen and those buttons more in just a minute or two. Then there's the Harmony Hub, which comes with two IR Mini blasters that plug into the hub via cables and emit infrared light, which is used to send commands to devices like TVs, stereos, etc., in place of traditional remotes. You place the hub near your devices and point the IR blasters at them. You get two, so you can point them in different directions, or put one inside your entertainment center so you can keep it closed and still control your stuff. They are not wireless though, so keep that in mind. Only the remote needs to be left out in your living room or wherever you keep it. The hub is the brains of the system, and it is what allows the system to control devices in closed cabinets or perhaps in another room entirely. But you can't control infrared devices all over your home. Infrared is generally considered to be a line of sight technology. It does reflect off surfaces, but it does not go through walls. If your hub and IR blasters are in your living room, you won't be able to control a TV that's in your bedroom, for instance, unless the hub or the IR blaster has a line of sight to that TV. You can have more than one hub, however. That's outside the scope of this review, but it is possible. The hub connects to your wireless network. It can receive commands from the remote or from the app, which you install on your smartphone. This is how you control your devices from anywhere, even from outside your home. So is the Harmony Elite flexible? Yes. That's great, but how do you use it? Well, starting with the remote. It has the normal remote control buttons that I talked about, and those work exactly as you would expect. But there's more. Some of the buttons are programmable, so you can have them do all sorts of things like turning on the smart lights in a whole room or adjusting their brightness, etc. Now let's talk about the screen on the remote. It's divided into three lists, which are controlled by two buttons. The first button displays two of the three lists, activities and favorites. When you pick up the remote, you will be on the activities list by default. Activities are chains of commands for your remote to send to one or many devices. From simple things like turning on your TV and then selecting a specific channel, all with the touch of one activity button that might be labeled sports, for instance, to complex chains of commands that might open your blinds, then turn on your coffee maker, then turn off your porch lights, and then play the news in the living room, all with the touch of one activity button that might be labeled morning routine. It can even run activities on a schedule, so you don't have to push the buttons at all. It's compatible with Alexa and Google Home too, so you can start your activities via voice. Activities are really the meat and potatoes of the system, and you've got lots of options on how to use them. One small but very important note about activities. Let's say you want to watch Netflix on a Roku that's connected to an audio video receiver, which is then connected to a television. Now let's say you want the volume to be louder. You should turn up the receiver, not the TV. And the Harmony remote is smart enough to realize that automatically. That's not insignificant. That kind of attention to detail is what separates a good product from a bad one. It's what keeps the users happy. Nicely done, Logitech. Now let's move on to the second list, Favorites. It's a list of your favorite TV channels for cable TV subscribers. 
I don't use cable TV, so I'm not going to review how that works in depth. But basically during setup, you enter your zip code and select your cable TV provider. Then you can choose up to 50 channels as your favorites. By selecting one, you'll be able to switch directly to it without having to press the channel up or down keys. If the TV isn't on, the Harmony will turn it on, along with making any other changes that you've set up in your watch TV activity. Like maybe turning off your noisy ceiling fan and dimming the lights, for instance. It will then tune to the selected channel. So we've already determined that the Harmony Elite is flexible, and I'd say given everything we just talked about that it's powerful too. And we haven't even talked about the second button yet. The second button is for devices. This is where you bring up a list of devices, which you can control directly outside of your activities. Let's say you just want to turn off the TV. You would do that here. You select Devices, then your TV, and then you push Power. Using the Devices list lets your remote function like an old-school universal remote. It simply replaces the remote controls that came with your devices without any fancy automation. This is good for when you want to do simple stuff. The last thing to note about the remote is that you can have up to 8 of them per hub. And as we all know, 8 is enough. Now let's talk about the app. Besides being used to configure the system, which we'll talk about in a minute, the app also functions as a remote on your smartphone. It can do basically anything that the normal remote can do, and it can do it from anywhere that you have internet access on your phone. Very convenient. So how does it do all this? Well, the Harmony Elite controls devices in three ways. Number one, via infrared using the IR Mini blasters or from the hub itself. Most devices use IR, and this is going to cover the vast majority of what you're trying to accomplish. Number two, it can use Bluetooth. The hub has Bluetooth. Here you're range limited, however, as the device you're trying to control has to be in Bluetooth range of the hub. And number three, via the internet. If your device has a web-based app, like Philips Hue Lights, for instance, then you can set up integration with Harmony. There is a long list of devices it's compatible with, over 270,000. Despite that large number, however, I recommend that you check before assuming that the Harmony Elite can control your stuff. Some examples of common things that it can control are home video devices like Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Dish, TiVo, and more. Game systems like PlayStation, Xbox, Nvidia Shield, and even Windows computers to a limited extent. Smart home devices like Philips Hue lighting, as I mentioned earlier, and other smart devices like plugs, blinds, locks, thermostats. As I mentioned before, it's compatible with both Amazon Alexa and Google Home. It allows you to use those services to control your Harmony, which adds a level of convenience that's simply fantastic. It's also compatible with traditional home devices that use infrared, like ceiling fans, as I mentioned before, gas fireplaces, all that sort of stuff. And for serious smart home aficionados, know that it can interact with hubs like Samsung SmartThings, which it can use to control Z-Wave and Zigbee devices. Smart home enthusiasts will find this very exciting, and if you're not one, don't worry about it. You don't need to configure all of this stuff. If you don't use it, you don't have to worry about it. The system is only as complex as you choose to make it. To put it simply, it's more than just a fancy remote control, and how much you get out of it is up to you. So is it flexible? Yes. Is it powerful? Yes. But is it easy? As I said, it's configured via a smartphone app, which is available on iOS and Android. All of the configuration is stored in the cloud, so you need to create a Harmony account with Logitech. Once that's done, the software will look for devices that it recognizes in your home. If it finds them, it sets them up automatically. And if it needs to ask you questions like username or password for web-based services, it will ask. Once the device is configured, the software will suggest some activities based on the devices. It's fairly intuitive and convenient. Once you've completed the initial configuration, you can then customize to your heart's content. Want to set up fancy morning routines? Go for it. Want to automate repetitive tasks? You can. Example, in my case, I sometimes want to connect a Bluetooth headset to my TV for use at night once my wife has gone to bed. To do this on my TV, it requires that I press 19 buttons. Seriously. It's an insanely convoluted menu on a Samsung TV. Why Samsung? Why? Anyway, that used to drive me bananas, but once I got the Harmony Elite, I automated it. Now I press one activity button and watch as the TV magically opens the menu, navigates through all the submenus and settings, and connects to my headset. 
Then it exits the menus and returns to watching TV. So is it easy? For the basic stuff, yes, but for more complicated things like setting up that headset activity that I mentioned, it's made more difficult than it needs to be by the clunky software. The customization menus are obtuse, with menus behind menus, and it's just generally not great. It is usable, however, and it does work. It's more frustrating than it needs to be, however, when you consider that it can save you hours and hours of frustration by automating repetitive and ridiculous menu navigation, saving you from jumping through countless hoops over the life of the product, it's worth a little pain now to save a lot of pain later. To recap, it's powerful. The activities list lets you perform loads of operations with the press of a single button, while the devices list lets you control your devices directly with a single remote. It's flexible. It's compatible with over 270,000 devices, and you can use multiple hubs with up to eight remotes each and a smartphone app to control devices via infrared, Bluetooth, or over the internet. And it's easy-ish. The initial configuration wizard helps you get started with setting up devices and activities. Using the remote and the app to control things is straightforward and intuitive. Only when you get to custom activities do you start to run into mild headaches. But you're still only one deep breath and one aspirin away from having a convenient way to save time and effort by preventing you from having to navigate menu mazes for years to come. Looking at you, Samsung. To simply answer the question, is it good? It certainly is. If you want to buy the Harmony Elite by Logitech, please consider using my Amazon affiliate product link below the video. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. And if you've gotten useful information today about the Logitech Harmony Elite, please click thumbs up. That tells YouTube that you thought the video was helpful, and so YouTube will be more likely to suggest this video when people search for the Harmony Elite in the future. Also, if you want to see more reviews and want to help my channel grow, please subscribe. Subscriber count helps me get more products for review by telling manufacturers how many potential customers may see the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.